In this session, we're going to look at using the if statement. The if statement is one of the most common statements that is used in programming. It allows the computer to make a decision, allows us to control where the user may go and what occurs by using a simple if. Now, an if results in a Boolean condition, it'll either be true or false. So, is your name Leon? If it is, it's true, and if it's not, it's false. So that's how an if-then-else statement works. So we have the option of if the condition is true to do something and if the condition is false, do something else. We're going to apply that today to a simple password checker. So first of all, I'm just going to put a start button onto our stage just so we've got something to click and start. I'm going to give it a name of start and then I'm going to give it a proper name, btn start. So when I double click this now, it'll open up in our program view, so from our GUI view into our code view, and it has BTN start and when we click on it. All right, let's get underway. I'm not gonna put any developer comments and things like that in. You can refer to other tutorials on how to do this. But first of all, we're gonna create a program just to simply check if our password is the same. So first of all, we need to clear a variable. So we need a dim s user password. and do that as string. From here, we can then set the S user password and we could set that as Marsden. This way, Marsden is stored in S user password. So then we can do a check. We can actually say if F user password is equal to, and then we can put in the condition there. So what do we want it to equal to? Marsden, if that's the case, then do something. So what do we want it to do? We want it to message box, correct password. Now we know at the moment that Marsden and Marsden should match each other. So therefore we should see the correct coming up as a message box. As I click start, it comes up with correct password. And because they're the same, this message box appears. Now if they were different, so Marsden 1, and I run the program. Now Marsden's not equal to Marsden 1. And it doesn't matter how many times I click on this, we won't see that message box because it needs to be true, which is the then part, for it to occur. But what we can actually do is put an else in there. So we can actually say, well, if it's not true, and therefore the condition up here is false, what do we do? We can do the else part, and we can go message box, and have wrong password. So now, we should get the second part of that, the false part, the, which is the else part. Wrong password. So let's go back and change that back to Marsden. It's correct. And if we change that back the other, and if we change it back the other way, it comes back false. Now we can actually change this now to prompt for this. And we can actually use input box enter password. So it'll take what the user enters into the message box and then check that against what's there. So when we hit run now, we click start, enter password, let's put Leon. Okay, wrong password. Click start again, enter password, Marsden. Correct password. Excellent. So that's how an if then else statement works. We can add, have just a straight if then, and then you can have an if then else. But what if we want to also check for the username? So let's add to our variable list, which is also a string, s username. And once again, we're going to use the same sort of comment. and enter username. Now we normally enter our username before we enter the password, so I'm just gonna flick those two over. And now we're gonna use an N statement. So not only are we gonna check if the username is correct, but we all want to also wanna to check to see if, if user name equals 
Leon and we're going to use an end statement. So what this is now asking, if f username equals Leon and the s user password equals Marsden, then correct password, we're going to put correct or access granted, otherwise access denied. So if the username is Leon and the last name is Marston, we'll get access granted. If any of those are wrong, we should get access denied. Let's check our program now. Clicking start. We'll go correct first. Go Leon, username, password, Marsden, access granted. So let's change it. Let's go Zach, Marsden, access denied. Well, let's try... Um, Leon and Zach access denied and the last one is Zach and Tia access denied so we had true 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 false false true and false false so that's how a dual condition if statement works using the end statement so this must be true and this must be true to do the then part if either one is wrong or both are wrong it would do the else part. So I hope that helps you understand how if then else statements work in coding and how we can use them and how we can use them to create some efficient code using the end statement.